downtown Portland. And Chris, how's it looking out there now? Ken and Jamie out here in downtown Portland, as you mentioned, and it's actually it's looking better, but for the most part, it's still a mess. There's still ice, there's still slush, and it's hard to believe that this storm hit a week ago and still it's paralyzing our city. And that's a big concern that a lot of people have concerns that I took to Kiba. I wanted to know what they were doing to make sure that something like this never happened again. And they tell me right now what they're doing is they're expanding the routes that are getting plowed. They say the goal is to get rid of the remaining ice and slush. They're also checking catch basins, making sure they're clear from debris. Uh, but I wanted to know what are they going to do for the next snowfall? So something like this never happens again. In terms of the future, we're going to be looking at a number of things in the coming weeks. We're going to be looking at do we want to expand the number of plow routes that we have? Uh, do we want to add uh, new equipment or do we need different or new equipment? Do we want to use different materials? And one option could be is salt. They actually used it a few days ago when they got help from Seattle. But when they laid the salt down, as you know, the roads were already covered in ice. So definitely not much help there. But I'm told they will be meeting in the next few weeks to talk about possible solutions for the next snowfall. Of course, we'll let you know what they decide. Reporting live from downtown Portland, I'm Chris Holmstrom for Coin6 News. All right. Thanks, Chris. Hopefully they learned a couple of lessons from this latest weather event. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. All right. Download the Coin6 News app. You will get custom forecasts and weather alerts. You'll also get notifications sent straight to your phone when there's breaking news that you need to know about. New at noon, uh, President George H.W. Bush is in a hospital in Texas, and so is his wife, Barbara. President Bush was admitted for pneumonia on Saturday. He's in the intensive care unit and had surgery. Doctors say he is stable. His wife, Barbara Bush, was admitted as well for fatigue and coughing. President Bush is 92, Barbara Bush, 91. You're watching Coin6 News, watching out for you. And coming up, back to school today for a lot of kids across our area after a lot of snow days. How you can help your family get back into the groove. And if you're waiting for a train or a bus in the rain or snow, you want to know when it will be there. We're looking at how accurate TriMet's tracker is. You're watching Coin6 News.